parlors just starting to come out of the thickets and towards the road now that one there is a female and most of the ones in shot there are females I actually don't see any males at this stage that are not old they're all young ones from the last year or two so it looks like just a female grouping at this stage and they really look in great condition after all this rain there's so much food around for them that they are eating themselves to oblivion and they're starting to get nice condition they're looking fat and full which is great but what you will notice with them this morning is that their coats look a little bit rough now normally when you see impalas they have these silky shiny coats but this morning it all looks a little bit rough and kind of puffy and the reason why they're doing that is exactly the same way birds puff up they're basically trapping air against the body and that's acting like an insulating layer so as they're standing there the air gets trapped and then their body heat warms the air and it just keeps them nice and warm in these cold conditions so that's why they look a little bit puffy this morning but they are incredibly beautiful animals unfortunately they're so common that people often overlook them and don't spend time appreciating them but for me they must be one of the most beautiful antelope species that we have out here with those beautiful little black markings around the face and the bum area it makes them look very very pretty now you can see the impala in the background is busy feeding off the leaves of the trees so impala are quite unique in that they are unlike most of the other antelope out here that have a specific um, food source so let's say buffalo that are grazers you'll see the impalas will be able to eat both leaves as well as grass and so they can survive in the harshest of conditions they're much like goats in that way in that they can go into areas that are very devoid of much vegetation and they will eke out an existence by being able to feed off whatever is there so they're very efficient at that and you will find that's why their numbers are so good is that they find food in harsh environments and then also to go with that their birthing strategy helps with their numbers to increase so these guys all give birth at once which means we have multiple young ones all at once and basically floods the market so a predator can only catch so many babies before the babies develop enough to start evading the predators and that's why there's generally a positive growth within impala numbers throughout the years all right ladies well we're going to leave you there and catch